We follow the lives of old college friends, Veronica and Ashley shaped by the repercussions of their interactions, ridiculously hilarious social and political commentary through the dynamics of family and frenemy relationships, different perspectives on art, faith, and more topics during the timeline of the War on Terror. This gory slapstick results in both of them being in separate comas for two years each. Both ran out of money, lost everything, and had to do physical therapy. We get two rounds with each of them being a winner before the final showdown where there are no winners. They try to make peace and talk, but a mistake takes them back to fighting. They should have just fought for money. Great movie with a great ending and great performances. It's an interesting representation of jealousy and revenge as cyclical deteriorative concepts in the most extreme way. This could be seen as a way for them to release anger, similar to Smash Rooms, but they don't plan for it in that way. As one person was in a coma, the other did well in their own way. The ending shows that they could be friends, but decided to stick to this unending format of their relationship. They were not patient enough to investigate the camcorder, but swiftly resorted to fighting. It's the way they knew to be, but it didn't have to be that way. And that's my review of the 2016 movie, Catfight, written on my Medium and Vocal account. 